at the British Museum in London. I've been given special permission to visit After Dark with archaeologist Eamon Kelly. Let's hope nothing comes alive. We're bypassing the museum's famous Egyptian mummies to visit something altogether stranger, and to be honest, less attractive. The slightly squished, rather tanned body of a man who died around 2,000 years ago. Not in Egypt, but just off the M6 near Wilmslow in Cheshire. So why is he in this state? Well, he was found in a bog in the northwest of England, Lindo yes. Moss. He was found in, in the course of peat cutting operations. Yes. The peat cutting machine sliced the man's body in two. But what remains is extraordinary. He died around 2,000 years ago. But I can still see his toenails, hair follicles, even the stubble on his chin. Now this is what I call a mummy. He even has a name, Lindau Man, after Lindau Moss, the bog where he was found. This is fantastically preserved, considering how long uh, we're talking 2,000 years. What is it about the bog that preserves human flesh? What preserved the bodies, essentially, is the sphagnum moss, which is in the bog. It produces a chemical which converts human flesh and skin to leather. OK. And you can see... He's got a leathery quality you, you to have, his skin You now. have a leathery quality. Yeah. This man is one of hundreds of preserved ancient bodies found in bogs across northern Europe. Many of them died violent deaths, including the man in front of me. He was certainly struck on the head, which yeah. was probably the first of the injuries, which would have knocked him unconscious. It didn't kill him outright. Right. There is a garrote around his neck, and his neck has been broken. Right. So he's been banged on the head and garroted. That's enough to kill him, I suppose, either that of those eventually. That certainly would have killed him, yeah. yeah. Eamon believes these men and women were ritually killed as sacrifices to the gods. And that could explain why their bodies were put in bogs. The interesting thing is that Lindo Moss is on a very important tribal boundary. All right. It's still a parish boundary to, yes. to, to this day. And the boundary areas were where these ritual killings took place yes. because boundaries, and particularly boundary bogs, provided access to the other world. So a ritual performed at such a location would be deemed to be more effective. 